I created this tool to help with building a song from the narration that I record for the videos on this channel and the official Renoise channel. And the way that I work is I'll record directly into Renoise. I'll do a run through uh, two or three times of the entire script and then cut out individual paragraphs and create new samples from that. Each sample then goes into its own pattern and I'll render it out using the toggle save each pattern into a separate file which will then be used in the video editing package and I use Camtasia. The problem is sometimes I'll need to do overdubs, just little edits or more extensive edits if the script needs to be uh, re-edited at a later date and then I'll come in and re-record an entire paragraph by itself. Now, the reason this is a problem is because each pattern obviously needs to be as long as it needs to in order to accommodate the sample. If you constantly need to make edits by hand, because if you go into the samples, you need to enable auto-seek, place the notes, and then go through and estimate how long the pattern actually needs to be. And then if edits are made, you need to do the whole thing again. So, far easier to create a tool to automate this entire process. And we'll take a look at the code. And as you'll see, there's not actually a lot to it. The tool itself won't be of much use to most people. Uh, the way it works though is these are the initial recordings, but then you select the top sample of all of the paragraphs and then it'll run through and create patterns for each of the samples, correctly gauging the number of lines for that pattern in order to accommodate the sample. So, although you might not use this, there are a couple of terms from the API that you might find useful to know about. Initially, I have the variable here, SPL, which is seconds per line. That's 1 divided by the transport BPM. And that's divided by 60 because we want to get seconds rather than minutes. And multiplied by the LPB. Because the BPM and the LPB combined are equal to the song's tempo. Then we go through, sample by sample, and there's an initial check because each pattern can only be a maximum of 512 lines long. And if the sample is too long in order to actually be able to fit in that maximum size, then it'll tell you and tell you to make adjustments to the BPM and LPB. Now if it can fit, then it'll do the calculation properly. Now the couple of terms here that you need to be aware of is the sample buffer number of frames. This is literally the length of the sample in frames. Uh, sometimes it's called frames and sometimes, a bit confusingly, it's also called samples. Each of these smallest bits of audio can be a sample or as it's referred to in the API, a frame divided by the sample buffer sample rate, which is this. This one's 48 kilohertz, but it can be a selection of any of these. Or perhaps even higher, depending on what your sound card is. And that's then divided by the SPL in order to get the number of lines needed to accommodate the sample. And that's it. If you want to take a look, then you can find it on its tools page here.